Your pitching planner is not looking up this week. It's kind of a little bit depressing. Welcome to you. Glad to have you with us nonetheless. Lauren Shahadi, alongside Eric Mack, you need to help us out because Roy Halladay to the DL Jake Peavy might need season-ending surgery. Eric Bedard on the disabled list. Where do we turn, Eric? Now, Roy Halladay is the one that I think can return the soonest. Uh, Jake Peavy might be out for the year, and you have to sink or swim with him. Um, you can't trade him because there's no one who's going to buy damaged goods. And then Eric Bedard, he has notorious shoulder problems. The Mariners were considering trading him before the deadline, but with the shoulder problem, they probably cannot do that. Roy Halladay, though, has a good chance of returning at the end of his 15-day DL stint. He wasn't even going to go on the DL in the first place. They're just being cautious with him because his innings total was getting so high so quick. So not to panic with Halliday. Does Toronto panic? Seven arms on the disabled list. Now Jason Frazier expected to replace Scott Downs as their closer. Yeah, Frazier has been very good. And it's surprising to me, though, they don't go to the $50 million closer in B.J. Ryan. His velocity can't get up to his past rate. So now they're going to go with Frazier, and I think Frazier's a good buy. In mixed leagues right now, he's going to get save chances. The problem being, though, with all those injured pitchers, they have so many young arms that might not get him enough leads. Let's talk about an arm for the Boston Red Sox. I'm talking about John Smoltz down, uh, looking to return on Thursday to the big league club against Washington. Do we bank on him for production right off the bat? Yeah, John Smoltz is a guy that coming off his of shoulder surgery, you never really know. But when you're a Red Sox pitcher and you can get a quality start, there's a lot of potential there. And in that rotation, they might need to go with a six-man rotation unless they slot Dice K. Matsuzaka to the DL or in the bullpen. But when you look at that uh, six-man staff, they might go with that for a few turns and then maybe trade Brad Penny. There's been a lot of talk that uh, he's interesting to the Phillies. The Phillies sorely need a starting pitcher. And you know what, for fantasy owners, it's not fun to hear what's wrong with Zach, Zach Greinke or what's wrong with Johan Santana, but we're saying that right yeah. about now, aren't we, Eric? Your two stars at the start of the season are, are going through a little soft patch right now, but they're both healthy. Santana says he is healthy. Um, his back isn't a problem. The blister isn't a problem. The knee isn't a problem. So um, they expect good things out of Santana. I think you can trust him next week. Maybe that was just a one bad start thing. But Zach Greinke, he's had four starts in a row. He's uh, not been the ace that you expected. Um, this could be just a market correction. His ERA is still under two. Um, so you've gotten so far with Zach Greinke. Stick with him. I think he's going to turn it around. Okay, speaking of Greinke, Max Scherzer outpitched him, which leads us right. to your must-start, two-start pitchers of the week, Eric. Yeah, Max Scherzer has been very good. This is a lightning arm that's just now reaching his prime. Um, that is a tough matchup versus Texas and the Angels. Two very good teams, but I think you got to start him in all leagues. He is a star in the waiting. And then you got the must-sit two-star pitcher, Francisco Liriano. He's struggling. He couldn't beat the Pirates last week, so I don't think it's very good to start him against the first-place Brewers and the Cardinals, who have ever Pujols in their lineup. It's going to be a tough Tough week for Francisco Liriano. Here's a question for you. With Liriano, does he return to what he was pre-elbow yeah, in your eyes? Uh, I think there's still the potential that it happens, but uh, you got to be patient with him. You know, it, it, Everybody returns from that injury at different rates. Sure. Liriano has taken just a little longer. Okay, be patient. Two-start sleepers, Matt Palmer. He has owned in under 50% of leagues, yeah. right? He hasn't lost this year. Yeah, the rookie is 6-0. Oh. The rookie is 6-0. and oh. He's going well four quality starts in a row. And I think Matt Palmer can start in all mixed leagues. And then the final uh, two-star pitcher sleeper, Trevor Cahill. Um, he's got his ERA under four at 389. Um, a very good young pitcher who is a little underrated. And the A's have been winning more games of late. Cahill, you can trust in those matchups with the Giants and Rockies. And you can trust you to give us fantasy advice. That pitching planner wasn't too depressing, was it? Go to www.relaunch.holidayin.com or visit a local Holiday Inn near you. The signs of change are everywhere. As Eric Mack said pre-video, he wouldn't want to go to a local Holiday Inn. He'd want to go on vacation <laughs> and go to it. a wonderful Holiday Inn, whatever you choose. For Eric Mack, I'm Lauren Shahadi. Thanks for watching.